welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, I've got a different background today. I'm actually at the gym that I generally work at, except there's nobody here. So I thought I'd use the opportunity to show you, do a quick how-to, it's one of my how-to videos. So I am gonna walk you through how to do a proper lunge. It might sound really basic, but so many people do it wrong and they're gonna lead themselves into injury later on by repeating it over and over in the wrong way. So let's go ahead and show you a proper lunge. I'm gonna show you what to look for. I'll show you it from this angle and then I'll turn to the side. So the first thing is when you do a lunge, I always say the longer the stride, the better. Okay, so when I'm going to stay, step to do a lunge, I'm going long. It depends how long your legs are, so you don't want to do splits or anything. So the other thing you'll notice is my legs are what I call train track. They're literally side by side within range to where my hips are. I'm not way out like this. And I'm definitely not cross because we're not doing curtsy lunge. I'm literally in line. And you'll notice the other thing too is my feet are pointing exactly forward. Often I see people do lunges, their first, their front step, step, their front foot steps forward and we see a turn. Do that quite often. So watch for that and make sure joint over joint, everything's in line. So we've done that nice long stride. Your back foot, that ankle should be up. We don't want to be starting a lunge in this position because already our hips are kind of tilted. So if we do that, we're all right. So notice the difference. So once you've stepped and done your stride, if you're walking it or stationary, you're going to drop your weight evenly between your two legs, okay? So most people lunge, they kind of go like this. That's a stretch. When you're lunging, you want to drop your weight evenly between the two legs. So if I show you the side view, long stride, legs in line, and drop. You'll see pretty much an even weight distribution, I can't talk today, between these two legs. Instead of shifting like this, we're shifting back. The other thing is, pelvis is neutral, shoulders back, and I'm not leaning into this. So you've gotta be standing up straight for this, okay? So with lunges, what's awesome is they'll work the whole leg. You're gonna get a lot of quad work, you're gonna get the glute work, hamstring, calves, especially if you do stationary lunges where you get into a position and you lunge down and come up. You add resistance to that, eventually that calf is gonna to start to burn. And then you can repeat that on the leg. If you wanna burn more calorie, you can turn it into a walking lunge. One of my favorite exercises for clients is to do a walking lunge, but add a cross or rotation, and I'll show you. So a walking lunge with rotation goes like this. You're gonna step, get that nice long stride, drop, rotate, turn to the front, and come back. It really challenges the balance, same thing. Step, rotate, come in, come back. So now we've got, we're adding the obliques into that. You're gonna challenge the ankles with balance. It's an awesome exercise. And then you're holding that lunge so we've got an isometric contraction. So you're working, moving, holding, turning, Awesome, awesome workouts. And we've gone to moving forward, sagittal plane, transverse, which is kind of turning and twisting. It's kind of working more than one plane. It's a nice way to do those lunges. So I hope that was helpful. And I hope that you kind of look at that next time you're doing lunges to make some of those corrections so that you don't hurt yourself and you can enjoy them again. All right, take care everybody and have a good day. Bye.